Hey y'all, uh, doing a little three minute hit here on X1, X-O-N-E, uh, which recently changed its name to X1 Entertainment Group. Um, look, this company, uh, in a nutshell, is in the esports uh, slash influencer game. Esports less so. Um, it did have a, a hand in an esports team, um, which now I think is less the object of the exercise. They also own a piece of an influencer marketing agency, which I think is actually where there's some real juice. Uh, they're helping sponsors find good influencers and putting those two baskets together. Uh, is it enough for a public company? We will see as the next few quarters take shape. But I'll know, I know for a fact that X1 is seeking other acquisition opportunities. There are still some pieces to be put into this puzzle. Problem... Stock went from 30 cents down to about 10 cents in a week. Uh, no news to preface that, it just went on a plunge. So why did it happen? And is there an opportunity here? Well, the opportunity was when this thing was down to about 17 cents in mid-August and we were saying, good deal to buy right now. Um, and then it went up to as much as 43 cents over the following month. Now. Uh, anyone who's been watching me for a long time knows you don't fall in love with your with your children when it comes to the stock market. If you can go from 17 cents to 40 cents, take some off the table, man. Like take your profits, leave your original stake, take it all. Like just know what it's like to have that crispy green dinero in your hand. You don't need to double down every day. So if you doubled down, I'm sorry, but you, you got everything back. Uh, you gave everything back. If you took some money out, and between 30 and 40 cents, you've done nicely on that deal. Why did it then crater? Well, uh, you know, in the words of, uh, of the grand old masters, um, people sold out. Well, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, was there a reason for it? No. I, other than there are people who bought in at earlier stages at 15 cents, 30 cents, and I believe, uh, uh, sorry, 15 cent, 5 cents, 15 cents, and 35 cents. So you had about 10 million shares sold between uh, 15 and 35 in financing rounds. So, hey, when the stock gets to a place where it's at about 35 cents, you can get your money back. You've been at it for four months. It's not showing gigantic growth. Hey, you, you, you sell, right? Uh, and if you got in at five cents, well, you've probably been cashing in warrants uh, that are in the money. So, you know, you sell and buy those warrants out. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why a company in this case, in this situation where suddenly a whole bunch of the float unloads on the same day and people have made a little bit on their money, why they would sell and take that money. Uh, a lot of selling begets more selling by other people who are casuals, right? People who got in maybe at 30 cents, 40 cents, seeing it start to, to, to crater and think, I better get out of here while I can still wear some clothes. Um, now, what does it mean for the long haul? Well, X1 has about a million bucks in cash, and it's not exactly burning through it, right? It's uh, pretty stable. My only problem with X1 is I want it to be more, right? I want there to be deals. I want there to be going out there and saying, what else would go along with what we already have that would increase the value of all of those things? And I think that in the, in the lack of any sort of information about that, um, you, you get what we're getting right now, which is, you know, instability, people deciding that maybe it's better to have some cash. Hey, maybe I've made a little profit. Maybe I can take that profit out. Hey, maybe I haven't made any profit, but I'm worried that it might go lower. I'm going to take it out. What we have found is that it's sort of leveled off around 12 cents, 10 cents, uh, which you know doesn't make it a big old expensive stock right now. Uh, you're looking at about a $4 million market cap, which for what they've spent getting to where they are is a good deal, right? Like I honestly, a $4 million market cap, these guys do anything at all that is interesting and you're going to see a significant jump in that value um now nobody wants to get in on a, on a stock generally speaking when it's when it's dropped from 30 cents to 10 cents uh that's generally a warning sign but when that stock is sort of leveled off for four or five days at that 10 cent mark when it's shown that it's got support at that price and that anything that's sold cheaper people are willing to buy into that looks to me like a good time to start thinking about getting back in. If you got in at 16, 17 cents and you got out at 30, 32 cents, now would be an interesting, interesting time to take your profits 
and get in cheaper, get a whole lot more shares and ride this thing to where it's supposed to be. I would not tell you that the sell-off is a healthy thing, but I would tell you that it was an expected thing, right? You've got a company with small market cap. It hasn't exactly caught the wave early on. There may have been a lot of people in this thing for a long time before it went public. One of those people. Uh, and so, you know, you take what you, what you get in the stock market, right? As soon as two or three big hands that have been in for a while decide that it's time for them to get out and go buy their mistress a, a, a nice shiny ring, man, you're either going to be in for the ride as a true believer or you get out with them and you watch the car go over the cliff and figure out once it's stopped rolling whether it's still drivable. I think this one's still drivable. It's definitely gone off a cliff, uh, but I think it's justifiable for it to have done so. Uh, you certainly had a significant increase in market cap in September. You had some deals that look like this thing is coming to a place where it's a functioning business. And I don't have any real worries that it's gonna run out of money or just get dropped like a bad habit. At this price, it's a buy to me. Um, now, I still hold stock from the 35 cent round. I still hold stock from the 15 cent round. I haven't sold anything. And I'm looking at this 10 cent, not as like a, uh, my, my, my earlier investment is worth little. I'm looking at it as an opportunity for me to get much cheaper wedge of this stock for what I already expected would be at some point a bit of a sell off. I'm not too worried about where it's going or where it's gone. What I'm looking at is what I can get today if I buy into this thing in a larger way today. I honestly think 10 cent is a real base. It wouldn't make any cent sense at all for this thing to be valued less than it is. Not that the markets can't get stupid sometimes, but honestly, I'm looking at it and thinking for what they've got, it's a little deal, right? It's if, it's, if there's anything you're gonna put on this company as negative, it's not that the stock got sold off, it's that it's not big enough, right? It didn't get to a place where it was large enough that people would say, I must be a part of that deal. Esports guy here, Rocket League guy here, right? These guys neck deep in the Rocket League uh, uh, sphere. They've got, they've bought uh, assets around Rocket League, which is a, a sport, a, 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 an esport, a game that has been selling well for the last five years. So it's not going away. But is this the thing that's gonna go over the top to the moon on the, on the high upside? Probably not. Uh, but can it go from a $4 million company to a $20 million company? Yeah, in a heartbeat. Like in, in one or two pieces of good news, in one good quarterly result, it certainly can. Uh, are they, you know, have they been getting uh, uh, warrants cashed in over the last month? That'd be healthy, bring a bit more cash into the deal. Probably not getting any warrants cashed out right now, but may have done over the last month. Look, I think there's enough good stuff here for X1 to be something that stays on your watch list. Would I buy into a dead cat bounce four days after it's had a big drop? Maybe not. I might look at it a little bit longer, but I'm looking at it. And I don't think this thing is dead by any stretch. This thing has been through a T-bone and we're just gonna see now how long it skids sideways before the rubber starts hitting the road again. And I honestly think, you know, over the next week, we'll get a lot of information about whether this is something good in the long haul or whether it's uh, rattled the driver a little bit. All right, that's enough with the, the Rocket League puns. Uh, this is Chris Parry. Once again, we're talking about X1, X0, or oh, not zero, O and E on the CSE. And uh, brothers, sisters, everyone in the middle, interesting. Subscribe, please. Thanks.